Dog watching you men in action. But you've been working too hard. Let's break. Well, I don't know about you all, but I know what I'm doing. Who's going in the water? This is it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday dresses wet. swimming. I felt some creature tickle my foot in a tender yet masculine manner. Something tickled you? You're as bad as Pablo, our feminine worker boy who always stares at the sea dreaming of gay sea creatures. <laughs> you shut the hell up! Whoa, calm down. I don't want to know where this rainbow of emotions will end. You used to be as solid as a rock. Now you're as soft as that low-fat yogurt you eat for lunch. <laughs> the only thing soft around here is going to be the supple breasts on the strippers at my party tonight. Strippers? Strippers. 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 Eight o'clock. Be there. Let's break up this circle jerk and get back to blowing up shit. Yeah! Whoa, man. Quit rubbing all up on me. What did it feel like? At the lake? Nothing... touched me. Hey, Foreman. What the hell are you doing over here talking to Pablo? Poontang's over there. Pablo told me the Poontang was over here. Lion fairy. He confused me. Yes, you might be the love. 
Smoking hot strippers. Wiping the grease off George. Why? What's wrong? Pablo's mini tea. It's a shame. Crying shame. Where are we going to find a feminine worker boy at this hour? My lemonade isn't going to ice itself. Calm down, men. Do I need to get you some cranberry juice for your vaginal infections? No. Yeah. Pablo was asking for trouble. I'm sure we've all smelled the lilac lotion he so carefully dabs all over his body. Neither have I. What I'm getting at is Pablo has probably been attracting the sea creature I was telling you about earlier. You mean there really is a sea creature in the lake? And it's... That's right. It's possibly G A Y. We've got an unsettling situation here. There's a monster lurking in Lake Habagapi, and it may be gay. Not a good construction workers. We're blowing the fuck out of that lake. Apparently, there are gay monsters that have other plans. It's all because we built that scented candle factory. We should never have been so progressive. We need to burn that factory and throw the toxic waste into the lake. We'll smoke the monster out. Won't that contaminate the water supply? Sounds like gay sea creature loving talk to me. We must proceed with caution. There are many great legends surrounding this lake. A crane never stands amidst a flock of chickens, nor does a donkey's lips fit over a horse's mouth. Sounds like a gay sea creature loving proverb. Well, I think the construction on the lake is disturbing the monster. My instincts are telling me that we need to stop the work and cut our losses. What kind of instincts? Like a gay sea creature loving intuition? No, uh, like a, a Viking's instincts to pillage. Well, my instincts are telling me our property value is dropping.
won't be any trusting of anybody's instincts. Not on my watch. What makes you such an expert? I was tickled by it. Mm. Who else has felt the horrible caress of the creature? Every time I lay in the bath, I'm going to think of that slimy finger touching my foot in the water. He takes baths? I will kill it. Just like I killed that gay deer that was looking at me funny. Any courageous men can go down with me. Dressing you with its eyes. I'll teach you to imagine men naked. Just aim it and squeeze. No! Pablo! Pablo, his silly, brave, feminine worker boy. <coughs> Wasn't this creature trying to kill you? No. I threw myself into the lake. I tied a cinder block to my leg so that I would be forever consumed by the dark waters. The sea creature actually saved me. I was trying to drown myself. It's horrible. The gay creature is still trying to seduce me while you die. I can't be seducing you. It's androgynous. It's using an androgynous aquatic sign language. It's trying to explain itself. I'll translate. It, it is saying that it was only tickling people to reach out to them when the rock face began to crumble. It's asking you, Foreman, why do people destroy what they love? You threw yourself into the lake. Why would you do such a thing? Because I knew I could never have who I loved. But the creature wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't the sea creature that I loved. I don't understand. Always remember this. Why would I remember the creature touching my foot? It was gross. Because it was you who tickled my heart. <laughs> Pablo always stared at the sea, dreaming of gay sea creatures because gay sea creatures are what dreams are made of. Pablo would have wanted you to live. Go onward, friend. These small towns are no longer safe for your country.
Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. It's okay. It's unimportant. You have learned what for men. A man is not perfected without trials, nor is a gem polished without rubbing. 